Alright, welcome back to the Wicked Gamer and Collector YouTube channel. Welcome back Wicked family, it's awesome that you're tuning in today. In this video I am going to do the next level of comparison. I'm going to do the comparison with the original Sega Mega Drive for back in the day. I'm going to use an upscale device, uh, the HD video converter that upscales the SCART up to the HDMI signal that I'm going to use and I'm going to capture with my Elgato. Alright, so I'm using this special cable, Retro Gaming Cables Co.uk. No, they didn't give me this for free or something, but I just wanted to point out I'm using the best cable RGB or full SCART that I can find. It has stereo sound, so it's giving the maximum blast processing power from back from the 90s. The best music, stereo sound from the Mega Drive with the best chip. And we are going to do this compared with Sega Mini Classic. Yes, people, this is going to be a battle between these systems. I just want to do a comparison um, and a quick note. I have the pulse system over here, so the sound will be a little bit slower, probably compared with the Sega Mini emulation. So I just wanted to do the side by side so you can see and experience how is the quality of both systems and what is now the real Mega Drive experience. So let's do a comparison. I'm going to do an overview. So let's say from a couple of games. And I'm also going to do it side by side so you can see the difference in not only sound quality, but you can also see the video quality. All right, stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, grab yourself something to drink, and let's enjoy the show. Rise from your grave. Alright, it's time for the side-by-side -side comparison. At the left channel we're finding the original Mega Drive PAL version and at the right we're finding the Sega Mini Classic. Alright, let's start the side-by-side -side comparison people. Yes, Sega time! <laughs> Alright, so for the final conclusion regarding the Sega Mega Drive versus the Mini version. 
All right, I cannot decide for you which one will fit your need, but okay, let's wrap it all up. The mini classic version comes with 42 games. You cannot add games, you cannot or use your original games. There is no, you're stuck with the 42 games are on this device. It's really awesome plug and play HDMI, beautiful screen output. Uh, the sound is not bad at all if you compare with the original one. So this is what you're going to get straight out of the box. But if you're going to take a close look at this, the original Mega Drive, these old beasts from the 90s. I'm comparing this original Genesis with this one because the later models didn't have the stereo sound. And again, it's not cheap what I did here. I bought the system, let's say 30 euro with a controller without any games. And you need to buy the cable. The cable is also very expensive, the RGB cable, and you need to buy an upscaler. So I'm thinking if you calculate it all correctly, it's almost the price for this mini. But then you're having the Mega Drive with an upscaled, system, you know, upscaled signal to HDMI. You can play a lot of different ways. Uh, you can use, let's say, original games. Uh, you can buy repro games, multi cards. You can buy an EverDrive. No, it doesn't matter. There are many ways to play original games or an original on an original system. All right, so this is always like the side by side comparison. I really love to know from you. What do you like? Do you like the original deal? Like I am letting you show it here. Or you like this mini thing? I'd really love to know. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell for more awesome wicked content. And see you next video. See you next time. Yes, yes. I'm going to play with some real blessed processing power from the 90s.